What are parts in IFS therapy? Are they just metaphors or something more than that? How we can understand these phenomena? Richard Schwartz has suggested that parts of our psyche are not just plain emotions, thoughts or imaginations, but that they function as our internal full subpersonalities, all round inner personalities living their own life inside of our psyche. Each part has its own temperament, its own way of thinking and seeing things. So in IFS therapy a part is definitely not a metaphor, it's so much more. And this is how our mind and brain work. It consists of different modules that communicate with one another to a greater or lesser degree. Each module, each part of us, has their own strategies and can be contacted in an internal dialogue. This dialogue is the key element that allows us to learn more about our inner world. Very often we perceive ourselves in an overly simplified way. We identify ourselves with the emotion we experience. We may say, I am angry. And it's like saying, I am my anger. Or we can go one step further and become aware that this emotion is just a part of us. For example, when the inner critic is active, we can only hear a critical voice that keeps hammering on about what we did wrong. Then we say, I've got this voice that is a part of me. This, however, would still be a much simplified, shallow understanding of parts. In internal family systems therapy, we know that there is much more to a part than just a voice in the internal dialogue that shouts, you failed again. When we see ourselves in that simplified way, we usually use one method to work with emotions, another to deal with physical sensations, and another to deal with our negative beliefs. This often gets confusing. With so many inner elements, we can easily get lost if we treat all of it separately. IFS therapy says that all of these aspects, bodily sensations, beliefs, inner dialogue, emotions and behaviors are linked to one specific subpersonality, a part of us. For instance, my inner critic may use inner dialogue get moving, otherwise you'll fail again. But he can also express himself through body, generating muscular tension that will not let me rest and will keep me busy all the time. He may also generate emotions that will get me going. A part like that may shape my behavioral habits, so that whenever I have a moment to spare, I will find something to do, just to keep myself busy. A single part is using different elements of my inner personality in order to satisfy its need. This is why we say that a part's personality is structured around the need, rather than in a dialogue, belief or emotion. The emotion or the critical voice is not the essence of this part, but rather a method it uses to achieve its goals. Our parts use these various elements of our internal worlds as tools to take care of the needs they are responsible for. This is why, while working with parts in IFS therapy, we need to know what is the need that is hiding behind the part? What is it that it needs? There may be many different answers to that question, in my example, the inner critic was all about motivating me to take action. It was just trying to help me. It had only good intentions. That's why in IFS, all our parts are welcome.